All right, guys, we are back here with Scott Sterling in the goalie be a pro. We started in Europe. I still don't really know our team's name. I never will. Let's just get that out there. We are currently set with a 1.80 GAA and a 937 save percentage. That's pretty solid. And on top of that, we do have a game here against Mannheim. However, we absolutely deleted them in game one. So we have a 6-1 differential there. So we're allowed to lose this game. We just can't get destroyed. I'm kind of happy that I left this game as well because this means it's sort of a warm-up. There's no way we should lose by more than six goals, all right? There's no shot. But what it does allow me to do is warm up before what I think is the finals coming up next. So I wonder if that is a two-game series as well. Like imagine winning the championship on a loss. That would be something. I feel like the next series should just be a one game winner takes all, but I suppose we're gonna find out. All right, they get on the board first. It's one nothing. Again, we're still chilling, all right? One nothing is nothing compared to what they need. I'll tell you that for free. And Richard Ponick scores, but they also get one from Wolf. Looks like it might be a 2 1 game heading into the second, and yes, it is. All right, shots are even. That's a great way to start the second period. I feel like we always do that. As soon as the second period starts, we score. It seems to be inevitable. Will we have a tied situation? No, we will not because Meyer scores. It is a 3-2 hockey game. We're still sitting very nice. Oh man, I like just woke up. This is really bright. <laughs> I wasn't ready for this. We don't even really need to score. I mean, if you guys want to, I'm all for it, okay? We can get goals, but really all we need to do is just shut them down. Because, like I said before, we had the 6-1 win in the first matchup. So the goal differential is heavily in our favor. Here we go. It's power play time. We could even tie this thing up here, actually. Nice draw win. Oh, I like the little step in there. Yeah, let's go. Goalie was down and he was out. It is worth pointing out that he scored this goal while falling as well. I mean... Yeah, the goalie was kind of nowhere to be found, especially at the time the puck came off of his twig. I'm still very impressed, however. What a pleasant surprise. A great way to start off our third period. Nice try on the five hole. I see you. Little point shot. That was ripped. And it went over the net. Is that Corbinian Holzer? Oh, no. Just didn't react fast enough. That's on me. All right, I can see my stamina. Is that what that is in the bottom left corner there, slowly going up? I just noticed that now for the first time. All right, they're back at it. They got to go all out offense. So yeah, they are probably going to pull their goalie again, which is, <laughs> again, I just think that's really cool. I still, now that I really think about it, maybe it was because of the goal differential. So I won't cement this just yet, but I think that being pulled as a goalie in goalie be a pro is still broken because we were down by one and it did not tell me to go to the bench here's wolfie up the middle and he goes for a most likely extremely weak backhand didn't get it off though because our defense shut him down oh good shot goalie went to cover it with his blocker but ended up launching it into the corner deal with it gets knocked off the puck by ponick Look at this guy. He's taking on the whole team. Great pass as well. We're still going. Kunakal goes for a shot that is blocked by our defense. Good poke. All right, what are they going to do here? They're setting up. Oh, he broke his stick. And I'm, I'm very happy he did because I was not in position for that at all. Here we go. Nice try. Pass in the middle. Little kick with the left mini wheat. Sends that puck back the way it came, and we have Dono entering the zone. Down low pass to Vrana. I just feel like our team's chemistry is insane. The passes we make, the plays we have set up, it just works. They are starting to run out of time here. I really thought he was going forehand. I should have poke checked there. Okay, so again, that is just ring rust. I gotta shake it off. I haven't done a goalie be a pro in months now, so... Yeah, I remember I finally kind of picked up poke checking, and now I forgot all about it again. So, there you go. This is relearning. 
That was an okay goal. I mean, to be fair, he did kind of go forehand. Just somehow gave him the whole net. And see, this is what I'm saying. I'm glad we have a warm-up game. So we, we, I, I could have just simmed past this one and chalked it up as an easy win for the series. But no. We are going to be in the finals. Again, I think. So, yeah. Very glad I did it this way. Get to the bench! Come on! Feels like it's so far away. Am I just really slow or are these rinks massive? We got the bench view here. The passing is impeccable. Dono breaks his stick, but it almost worked out actually. Six minutes to go. We have a power play and they need a lot more goals. And we almost just got one. How'd that thing stay out? Unbelievable. Ruzika, nice pass. And Bennett was the only one in front there. Here we go. Will I have to make a save? Probably not. They do have to address the whole dumping the puck thing because something has gone wrong. What a save on the blocker. He was all alone. Actually, that's not true because there was another one of our players there. Not even theirs. And yeah, managed to keep it out. Here we go, 9-4. Good pass. Not a great shot. But to his credit, I think he kind of got hit. As he went to shoot. Let's go. Walks out. Far side shot. And if the deal wasn't already sealed, then it sure is now. Look, <laughs> it's just a train. Everyone following him. Yeah, we're only down by one now. There's like, what, five minutes left? Actually, now that I think about it, why didn't I flying poke check? Was it not as much of a breakaway as I'm thinking? Was it even a breakaway? What a shot. I think that was like a pixel perfect shot because it came like right back out, did it not? All right, hold on. I got to see this again. Ruzika, Marty the one man party has been on fire. Picks it up. It did come back out, but yeah, it was just bar south, I believe. Or, oh, it went off the goal. <laughs> Sucks to be you, Nino. I'm just kidding. I know how it feels because already in this series, there was a shot that was going to miss the net. And I directed it in with my glove. Good times. V is in. Oh my goodness. What a shot. Thankfully, the goaltender's best friend managed to keep that thing out. Yeah, we got to get the puck out of our zone, boys, because the pressure was building up. Ruzika, low shot. It is kicked aside. I still want to win the game. You know, like, even though it doesn't really matter, I still want to win it. You know what I want to know? What is the biggest... Like, I don't know how long this format has been a thing for the CHL, okay? But what is the biggest comeback? Like, what was the most blowout first game that the other team had theoretically no chance and still ended up coming in the next game and destroying that squad and moving on? You know what I'm saying? Let's go. We're going to win. We're too good. We're actually too good. I said it last episode. I'm saying it again. We are proving that night in and night out. McKinnis goes in the middle. That will be saved off of, honestly, a pretty good shot. I'm proud of that save. Keep your head up. They might be head hunting, as, you know, they're kind of down and out here. And a massive win. We are moving on to the final, I think. Based on what I'm seeing on the calendar and everything, that's what makes sense, so... Yeah, massive dub. You love to see it. Here we go. That game certainly put a dent in my goals against average. Not that I care too much about that. You know, getting wins is the most important thing. But still, uh, 234, 916, still very respectable. Let's simulate. Stop. And who do we have? It is them. The Lakers. Okay, I can... Yeah, great. And it is definitely the final because it says final I'll tell you what, right on it. What's up, James? Top goaltenders for the upcoming NHL draft yeah. look no further than the performance that we saw in the Champions League. That young puck not done yet. between the pipes was Still lights first. out throughout the entire duration of the tournament. He was great. Well, that's nightly. crazy because it's not and done you yet. Do not expect that from a youngster at that age. Man, he was good. Like, he was real He was good. good. <laughs> Oh, James. And if you're looking for a difference, he's maker, back for more. One, keep an eye on goaltending here. This yeah. youngster has been dynamite in goal throughout the Champions League. And now here we are 
Tires are getting final, pumped. Champions League final, and we could have a young goaltender who just might steal the show. I love the way he has played throughout, and let's see if he can win one more and put his team over the top. I cannot believe we're even here and having this discussion, but he has been phenomenal to this point. Ray it is one is game. Going to join us here in the broadcast booth. It's one game to rule them all. I think I'm gonna. I might play two periods here. I think I'm going to sim only the first one, and then I'm going to play the last two. That's a great way to start. Ponic scores. We have a 1-0 lead. They can't even get a shot. Okay, they finally got one. But we are definitely out. Victor Rask? No way. Brett Connolly? <laughs> okay, I recognize a lot of these players. 5-4, on four, we killed it off. All right. I think we are going to be jumping in here. Down by one, and this time is it. There's no, we can just come back and beat them more next game or anything like that. It is the final one game takes home the glory. And we are down by one. No, we're not because we're too good. <laughs> How many times do I have to say it? Oh, the point. You are a beautician, sir. Oh, that's going to hurt. Slap shot off the skate. Can tell that he was limping that one off a bit there, but hopefully stays in the game. Jensen goes back to the point. Oh my word, I was way out of position at first there. That was terrifying. Jensen goes in the middle, finds Rask. That will be saved on the far side there. Another shot, blocker to side. Holy, they are peppering me right now. They must have watched game tape and been like, yeah, that guy, not good. Just put pucks on net and they're bound to go in. And to be fair, it's kind of worked out for them so far. There you go. Big save in the oven mitt. Pass it over to Vrana. Who's able to skate it up. Headmans it to Dono. And we are in on the attack here. Come on, guys. It is a tie hockey game. And again, I need to reiterate that this is the final. I don't know what just happened there. But the puck is not in the net. So... I'm not going to ask questions. Let's go! A pass in the middle. And I believe that was Dono. Buries it on the far side. And we have ourselves a one goal lead. Oh no, it wasn't. It was Roman. boy, Milos. Another one. Another one. DJ Khaled up in here. Rips one. I don't know, like, I can't help but be confident because we just keep scoring. Like, I don't want to say we're going to win this thing. You know, it's a little early for that, but I mean, come on. All, all the evidence points to this, a victory for our squad. I think we lost, like, our first or second game, too. I was a little bit worried after that, but now we're in the finals up by two. And we have a power play. When we do get drafted, I really don't want to do the preseason because it just means nothing. So I'm going to sim past it and hope for the best. If we get sent to the AHL, if that's even a thing, then so be it. Oh my word. I just saw how many leaves are in my backyard right now. I am in one after this. Do it again. What a play. The backdoor pass. And we have a three-goal lead now. That time it was Dono. You guys are just the goats, all right? I don't know what else to say, but I'm going to literally start watching the Champions Hockey League, and I'm going to be your fan. I don't even know how you would get that. Is there a way to watch that over here? Oh, dear. That was a little bit stressful. I mean, again, we are... In a very comfortable lead here. So I don't need to be that stressed. But I just still don't want to get scored on, you know? In the mitt. And you're wide open over there. That's my boy. Five is unbelievable. Jensen goes for the low shot. And that is steered aside. They tried to walk out with the puck. But not only is our offensive game unreal. Our defense shutting it down when it matters most. Yeah, they're already starting to get frustrated. That was a big hit attempt. I'm not sure if he fully connected on it or not. 
But here comes Brett Connolly. Capitals legend. What a save. And I will send it back out. Whoa! I was just saying that you're my boy. What's up? Ruzika goes in the middle and another goal. This is getting ugly. But I will tell you what's not ugly. These jerseys. I'm going to be a little bit upset when this is over. Because I am loving this whole presentation. This is the longest replay ever. Were they trying to say it's maybe offside or something? Or was it just... Uh, I don't know. Here we go, Marinson. Has the puck knocked off of his twig. But somehow we still managed to get it. And we are dancing around their players right now. Now that I think about it. Have I been able to go behind the net and get the puck once? I don't think I have. That's usually my downfall, so maybe I shouldn't do that. I do have a feeling that we are most likely going to be going first in the draft, so... First year might be a struggle, unless, you know, the be a pro thing didn't change, and they just go and somehow get Ovechkin, Crosby, and Pasta for the first line. I'm kind of down, you know, the... Be a pro for the last couple years at least. You never know what teams you're going to get. Because the players go anywhere and everywhere. Nice try, Rask. I have not smothered the puck once this game, I don't think. Oh, there we go. Alright, well, we have a three-goal lead heading into the third. No, four. Yikes. I guess we can kind of let our foot off the pedal here. I don't want to too much, you know, obviously, because four goals is comebackable. It's not out of reach. But nothing, but nothing. Uh, yeah, there's one. They are now within three. Time to focus up here. We let one in. That is unacceptable. I got to shut him out for the rest of the game. Here we go. Oh, I for sure thought he was going to go for the pass, but no, he actually went for the shot. There you go, double save. Not going to lie, I did pass that out, and the game didn't register it. So that is carrying over from NHL 23, and I am grateful, <laughs> because there was a lot of action going on in front of me. Definitely not the smartest play throwing that thing out. Are we going to get another shot here? Connolly goes to the D-man, playing a little bit of Plinko. And it finds its way behind the net where Marinson picks it up and does that. Had all the time in the world <laughs> to make a play and decided not to? Get me out of here. It is power play time, but it sure doesn't feel like it. Right now, it... Maybe that's why it doesn't feel like it, because it isn't power play time anymore. <laughs> I think I'm going to slowly start working in the prediction system as well. Because obviously... This series is very young, and the goalie gameplay is quite different this year. So, yeah, I'm just trying to get used to the basics now, and then I'll try to do some of this eventually. Actually, you know what? Let's try it right now. Precision movement. Yeah, it is pretty precise, isn't it? Another... Holy... Guy walked in and sent that puck. Let it sing from the slot, and... Luckily, we got our glove on it. Because, yeah, that would have cut it down to a two-goal lead, which really isn't that much. Three is kind of nice sounding. Four was better. But, you know, three is still acceptable. Two, that's apparently the worst lead in hockey. But I won't get started on that again. Save on the glove side. They are really upping the pressure here. Another one. Ruzika, you got to get rid of that. You can't be... Playing with the puck in front, especially when the pressure is all over us right now. They just take a penalty? No, they didn't. What happened there then? Did he knock him over or something? Another one? Get to the post. Smother it, smother it, smother it. Smother it! What's going on? <laughs> Thank you. Our stamina meter is absolutely depleted and it doesn't matter. How about it? 9-2. What are you going to do, huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. You skate away. We really do got to get this puck out because the pressure has been immense. And you know what? Pressure can cause things to crumble or it can produce diamonds. Let's go. Beautiful, Selly. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, dear. You know what time it is, right? 
I think it is. It's flying! Poke check a clock. I saved that with my toe. Nice try. I mean, it really wasn't, though. It wasn't. That wasn't a nice try. I'm just trying to be nice here. Ooh, a clappy. Saved on the blocker. And it looks like we are going to... Once again, get the puck out. Spoke a little bit too soon there. Five minutes remaining. It is a four-goal lead once again. I'm just going to say we got this on lock. Whoa! Those point shots are insane. They come in hot. And that one went wide. It almost came right back out in front for an easy little tapping goal there. But thankfully, they didn't score. So my... <laughs> Goal for myself to not let in any more goals is still possible. Yeah, right, Rask. Our team might be coughing the puck up and giving you all the opportunities in the world. But you still got to beat Scotty. And we're headed to a power play. Yep, this game is completed. I guess it's going to be different when we go to the NHL because I believe the zones here are bigger. So the point shots will likely be coming from a little bit closer. I think anyway. Two, one, bam. Let's go, trophy earned. We are the champions. Yeah, we did it. I did not see that coming. I thought it was gonna be a short run, but no. We are the champions hockey league champions. Why, get the bucky off, what are you doing? Why am I the only one with the helmet still on? They're a little bit upset. Yeah, yeah, I get it. But you know what? Sucks to suck because we are the champions. I do always feel bad, though. You know, like when you're watching the Stanley Cup final or something and the other team is just so defeated. And how could you not be? Because it's like you had to do so much to get there. And especially if you haven't won a cup before. You know, like imagine if Corey Perry hadn't won a cup before being to three straight finals and losing every time. That would have been pure devastation. I mean, it's probably still upsetting, but... Yeah. Alright. Do we get to see... The trophy lift? Yeah, we do. The question is, do we get to see Scott Sterling lift the trophy? I love how his hand was just through the trophy. Woo! There we go. We got some guy in the background with a red solo. Absolutely love to see it. Now, I... I don't love to see what just happened with that guy's arm. That was actually a bit disturbing. Oh, here we go! Hand it off to Scott! Boom! Okay, well, we are out indefinitely with a broken arm. Because that was not normal. Maybe he's just double-jointed, alright? I don't know if it could even still work then, but we'll run with it. There you have it. He's even hiding behind the trophy. <laughs> wow. I am going to miss this team. I really am. They ended up with 34 shots and three goals. So that was a good performance. Look at top performers in this Champions League. I'm looking. Look no further than the goaltender. And that is why, plain and simple, they won this Champions League tournament. He was the most dominant player it's in so green. the tournament. Lights out between the pipes yeah. from the start right to the end. And I'd be fascinated to see how high he goes in the upcoming NHL draft. Wow, James, that's he crazy. Has shown that he can handle big time moments, big time pressure, and to deliver a championship in the Champions League. Very impressive. This is it, Scott. You're the champions. I don't know why that sounds weird. It's correct, but it just sounds weird. You're the champions. You are the champions. I don't know. That was an amazing performance on what must be an amazing night for you. Sure was. How are you feeling after lifting that cup? I love all the options I have here. It's an incredible feeling for sure. The cup's heavier than it looks, but that just makes it more rewarding to lift. Yeah, it's like King Arthur. That's the guy with like the sword in the rock, right? Is that someone else? Do I want to boost teammate likability or brand likability? You know, I'm going to go for brand. Yeah, why not? Let's go. MVP, you know it. You saw my performance. I was obviously the best out there. A little bit cocky, but uh, <laughs> someone's excited. Yeah, clearly. It's got a World of Chell hat on. Cool, cool. 
Guess we have to do draft interviews. A lot of simulating going on here. All right, I'm not going to deal with that now. I'm going to keep all of that for the next one. Another one. Let's continue simming. And this has been quite a long sim here. Okay, so Chicago gets the first overall pick. Anaheim at second and Columbus at three. We could be playing with Bedsy. One of the interesting scenarios that I've one heard of them. was there were conversations between the youngster and the Chicago Blackhawks. Yes, an original Justin Hunter. franchise. And you look at some of the veteran talent that they have on the roster and then some of the youthful movement that they're starting to work into this roster. How do I see that hmm. fit? That's an intriguing one for me with the Hawks possibly going after him in this potential scenario. So. A lot of moving parts here, but I'm intrigued with Chicago on this curfew. One. What say you? Get out of here. About these potential How do you spend your free time before a game? Some people okay, are James. On media, Enough. Right? I watched highlights of the previous game to see what I did right. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to waste energy before the game, maybe. I eat right, get some rest, but I don't sit around. Yeah, you know, I like to get out and do things. So let's go with that answer. Persuasion fail. That's fine. And I don't even... Let's just go with the team answer. Okay. Draft interview score 84. That seems pretty solid. No? And now we meet with the Ducks. This is a little less formal. Went off to the side of the desk. All right. What's up, Stephanie? I'm gonna ask you a few questions. Let's get after it. You have an important game coming up. How do you prepare? <laughs> it's all the same questions. I try not to change up my routine. What's your routine, though? You know, a little bit of, a little bit of sussy action in there. Let's just go for this one. The team answer. Good to see you have the drive to be the best player on the ice. I sure do. Uh, I, I just don't feel like reading. How much do you care about your stats? Team answer. I'm gonna. I don't care about the stats. I care about winning. Uh, for the team. Anyway, persuade. Let's give it a shot. Wow, I suck at persuasion. Maybe I should spend some points on the dialogue. You know, as we get closer and closer to the draft, one of the things that always comes up is what do you do with a goalie, right? And, what do you and do? I, look, I think in today's day and age and trying to figure out what a goaltender is going to look like. Projected to be years, picked first. All right. So, yeah. Age is a crap shoot. I'll tell you what. This kid is for a the first cameras. round pick in my mind. And not just that. He is a top round selection. This kid, I would take high. I think he's got all the intangibles to become a great puck stopper in the NHL. If I have a Thank chance you. to take him, I am all in on this kid. I think he's got a chance to be a cornerstone for years to come. What say you? We'll hear from what some of the analysts say next. Well, hate to leave you on a cliffhanger, but we will be drafted in the next one. Ha <laughs> ha, gotcha. That's right. In the next video, we will most likely be going to Chicago and then we will sim past the preseason and start the regular season because I simply cannot be bothered. We are up to 72 overall, great number. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I am going to miss the Europe trip that we did here. I had a lot of fun with it actually, but yeah, it is time to move on. It is time to go to the show and I will be doing that very soon. So thank you for watching. As always, I appreciate you. Looking forward to the next one.